Hi, and welcome to Rose Red Homestead Micro Moment Monday, where today we are going to do a total experiment. And I can just let you know right now, we might fail. And if we do, you'll be along for the fail and we'll figure out something else. Jim and I have a rocket stove and we've made several videos with a rocket stove and I will link a couple of them at the end. All you have to do is just click on the little thumbnails and it will take you to some of our other videos using the rocket stove. And I built one out of cinder blocks on one of the videos. But this one is an EcoZoom and it is sitting right here. Now, one of the things that we feel is a drawback to the rocket stove, this particular model is, that you can only put a single pot on the top. And so it is not as versatile. You can boil water, you can fry bacon, you can do eggs, you can do about one thing at a time. So when I was perusing through the internet, oh, a week or so ago, I just happened to see somebody who had put a griddle on the top. And I thought, whoa, brilliant idea. That is a way to make a rocket stove much more versatile. Now we have this old griddle just hanging around. And frankly, Jim, do you remember even where this came from? I what? don't remember specifically. Maybe um, one of our other uh, that stove. red cooker that we used to yeah, take in our old trailer. Like yeah. It is a really nice griddle and of course it's very long. We figured that if there, if we could rig a way to put the griddle on the top of the rocket stove, then we would have much more versatility. The underneath side of this is nice and, oh it's a Coleman, uh, nice and level right here, but it has these legs that obviously uh, worked on some kind of an attachment. This griddle is a good griddle. It heats up very well and it has these legs, long ones and short ones, but they're all at the same level because this is a grease trap right here. If you decide to do this, you're gonna have to rig it just like we had to rig it to fit our particular circumstance. This is how I finally figured out, Jim and I were out here racking our brains on how we could do it. If you'll notice, this is our cook table we have the um, rocket stove set up here and I've got some clips, some big clips here. Now, I am going to mount these little legs on here between the clips and on the clip. So I'm gonna do this. And the clips are just a safety precaution so it can't go back and forth. This one lands right here on this clip and then this leg sits on the top here so that it is fairly level. And now that we have it fairly level and fairly sturdy, because remember this is gonna be hot if it works, next step is for us to test to see how hot we can get it, but we don't want it tipping when we've got food on it. So we're trying to make it as steady as possible and it's pretty steady right now. We're gonna go off camera, light the fire, get it going, check the temperature, and then we'll come back and let you know if it is a success. Well, we are back. Jim started a fire. In fact, the fire was so great, we had to pull some of the little kindling out because the griddle got too hot. So right now it is 430 degrees right here and 429 in the middle and off to the side, it is 2.30. I think we're gonna be able to use it. I want to see if we can boil some water, and I'm gonna put it kind of offset over here. Let's see how that works. So we're gonna wait while it boils? No, we'll be back if it boils. Well, I think we got pretty good results from our experiment. Not perfect, but pretty good. So we're gonna shoot the temperatures and show you. Jim's gonna come do a close up here. We now have the pot with about, oh, it's got about two inches of water in the bottom sitting directly over, which is the hottest spot. Right there in front is 371, and it was up to 500. It's 309 off to the side, and over here on this side we've got in the 200s. This is enough to keep things warm. Um, the fire is dying out because we're going to end the video, but we can take a look here. This came almost to a boil. It's very steamy. You can see the little bubbles on the inside. It gets hot enough that it will heat food up to eating temperature. I, in terms of cooking bacon or pancakes, we're going to find that out. 
um, when we start our video that has the breakfast, lunch, and dinner meals on it, which is coming up here pretty quick. I love the extra versatility that this gives. It's not perfect. For all I know, they might even right now have started offering uh, attach uh, other attachments, other accessories for the rocket stove. They might even have a grill, a griddle that does a better job than what we have rigged right here. We like to repurpose what we already have. In any case, this does add some versatility to our using a rocket stove. So thank you for joining us for this micro moment and we will see you again very soon with another micro moment.